Hello, Wayside Kids and Friends. It's Miss Michelle, and I have a question for you. Have you ever been told by your mother or father to do a chore, but you responded to them that you weren't going to do it? And then you changed your mind and did it anyway because you wanted to get your parents off your back or you wanted to just get it done and out of the way? Or have you ever possibly been told by your parents to do a chore and you said you would, but then you chose not to do that chore anyway? In this story that I'm going to tell you, there is a father who had two sons. They had a storm in their area and the leaves got spread all over their yard. The father asked the one son named William to do the chores of raking up the leaves. William said he would do it. And he took the bags and the rake from his father. The other son, John, he was building a model airplane in his bedroom. He decided he was not going to go clean up the yard. He wanted to build his model airplane, and he just wanted to get that model airplane done. Well, later on, the father went out and checked on the progress of the yard. Here he found out that William actually did not go outside. It was John who told his father he wasn't going to clean up that yard that actually cleaned the yard up. William had been inside the whole time watching television instead of doing what he told his father was going to do. In our Bible, Jesus tells a very similar story about a father who has two sons and asks his sons to work in his vineyard. A vineyard is a large area of land that grows grapevines to grow grapes. In the story uh, that Jesus told, just like in the earlier story, the two, one of the sons said no, he wasn't going to work in the vineyard. And the other son said he was, but he ended up not doing it anyway. Jesus really wants us to love one another. Jesus wants us to answer yes when he says, follow me. But what he really wants for us to do is actually follow him. When we tell someone we love them, it's out of words. But when we show someone they love them, it's actions, and actions speak louder than words. When you show someone you care by writing a letter, a poem, drawing a picture, it is giving an everlasting imprint in that person's mind about how much you really care for them. When you tell someone, I love you, it's not that they don't believe you. It's just showing someone physically that you love them by doing chores or by giving them a hug. Those things, the, the feeling that that show of affection stays with that person longer and gives them a better feeling longer. So we're going to bow our heads and close our eyes and we're going to do our prayer. Say, dear father, sometimes we say yes and then we do not do those actions. Sometimes we say no and we do do those actions. Help me to say yes, but at the same time to also do the actions that I am saying yes to. I want to show my love to others. I want to show my love to you. Help me do that in better ways for people to see my physical love. Amen. Have a great week, everybody.